All right, this is how I make a Sherlock with a blow hose. Just a simple Sherlock, nothing special. So you need a blow hose. I'm gonna use 19 for this, but you can use whatever size glass you choose to use. And 12 millimeter for a punny. So I'm just going to make a simple fume Sherlock, just so you can see the bend. So just give me a minute and I'll be at the bend shortly. I can do Sherlock's without, you can do Sherlock's without the blow hose. It's just, you know, you just gotta bring that point up to your mouth and puff into it. You just get a better view of what you're doing with the blow hose, because it's out in front of you, not away from you, you know what I mean? But I, you know, it can be done both ways and done good both ways. This is just one way of many. So, I'm going to take my 12 mil, I'm going to punny up. When I do it off uh, tubing like this, not a point, I do it backwards. So, instead of the mouthpiece being over here, it's over here, so I can punny up on a handle. I'm not quite sure how your steps on how you do it, but for this, de this demonstration, this is, this is how I do it with the blow hose. So, I'm going to seal this on to the Sherlock. Feel my 12 mil on. Pull back after it's attached. Do a tiny puff. And just keep it as straight as possible. Now at this point I'll take the stopper off and then I'm going to take my swivel and just slide it into my 12. You usually have to, you know, not usually, if you're using 12 mil you need to wrap your swivel with some Teflon tape. I recommend, there's other stuff you can use. I was taught to use Teflon, that's what I use. Maybe you can find something better, let me know. Alright, now I'm going to go for the bend. So I got it punnied up. 
I got, I got it handled up. Now I'm going to heat up the middle really good. Get it super hot, nice even heat base. And then I'm going to go for my bend. Whoops. Nice even heat base on there. Nice and even. I'm getting close. Now we pull it out. Let the shell cool for a second. Get control. Hand under. Have some air pressure in the hose. I'm putting air pressure in there as I'm bending. I need to check my angles. Make sure it's not crooked. Now when I was bending, I was kind of pushing my right hand down a little bit and pulling my left hand up. Now usually I get a little bit of scuzz in there, a little, you know, a little fogginess on the glass. I go in there with a sharp flame real quick, burn that out, and voila. We apply a little pressure in the hose, make sure nothing's crooked. Give it a once over, make sure you're all good. And that's basically it. If you've got any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. A hold of my wife. No, just a simple Sherlock, nothing special. I hope that helped you out. If not, if it's something different you're looking for, let me know. I probably know how to do it, but from the information I gathered, this is, you know, kind of what you were looking for. So hopefully that helped. Let me know if it didn't. Let me know if it did. All right. Peace.